researchers. The theme today has been reread, revise, and rethink. So I'd like you to keep that going and take this work back to your research notes and your independent research on your subtopics. To do that, I'm going to offer you some tips that have really helped me to make my research, especially my research notes, even more powerful. I wanna remind you that there are a few ways to make sure that your details or your notes are important enough to record. Here they are. A detail is important enough to record when it connects to something bigger, to a main idea, an issue, a key subtopic. So for you, that probably will mean the subtopic that you're researching. So all of your research notes need to relate directly to that. Mine is, the like challenges that youth activists face on climate change. So all of my notes should be related to that. Also, it should spark, this is the second one, it should spark thinking. So you don't want it to only be a specific piece of information or detail. You want it to be something that you could write off of, add on to. For instance, boxes and bullets. There needs to be some bullets, but also room to grow the idea into a, a big idea. If you're using a different organizational structure, something that you can add on to and maybe speak back to come and add your own thinking to. The third thing, it is important to the topic and you haven't recorded it before. That's important to, to really so that's a really important thing to hold on to, especially as you're getting deeper into your research, you wanna make sure that you're not writing down the same stuff you've been writing down for a while. And if you are, it's time to move on and find new articles probably. So let's just review these three things because in a moment, I'm going to look at my notes and you're gonna look at yours. One, it needs to connect to your big thing, your subtopic, the thing that you're really researching. In fact, you might even have it connect directly to your question. Of course, we know that our questions, our research questions won't beautifully and magically appear in articles, but we should find things and we should be recording things that could relate, that could answer the question. So it should connect. It should give you enough space to add on to it, to add more details, add your thinking, and it should not be repetitive. It needs to be unique. So right now, I'm going to show you some of my notes on an article you've seen me read before. And you're going to think, is she doing it? Or does she need to revise and rethink her notes? Okay, so here are my notes on this article I've been reading for a while with you on Greta and um, the speech that she gives at the UN Climate Action Summit. So here's what I've recorded. And you tell me, does this seem to fit? Am I checking off the boxes for important details? Climate change refers to the heating up of the Earth's climate. Global warming is connected to burning fossil fuels. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide are released into the air. Okay, I told you that my subtopic is the challenges that youth activists face on climate change. Do you see anything on that really here? Yes, there are articles, there are details here about climate change, but that's not really the big thing that I'm researching. And in fact, I, I researched climate change and what it is before. So that is now kind of like Xing out two of these things. It's not really related to the thing that I'm truly researching right now. And it's also repetitive from some of my jots and notes from earlier in the unit. And if I look farther down, it seems like it's it's just like a lot of facts. So I can't really like add on to this. And the facts aren't even really connected to each other other than that they're just like a bunch of different pieces of information about climate change. So it, I can't, I can't um, connect these to my subtopic or answer my subtopic question. I can't really write off of these. So it doesn't really spark new thinking for me. And it's also not really new information either. So I definitely have to revise. So I'm gonna go now look back at the article and think about what I could do and what details I might add instead and how I might rewrite those. Okay, let's see, maybe I need to just look and find the places and only start really recording 
when she's when we when we were seeing things that have to do specifically with youth activism and um and maybe th or things that could could affect it so a lot of my details came from the intro <clears throat> that's usually a usually a red flag because it, it doesn't really um a, an intro is not going to give you enough information across the text and also, especially for this intro, it's just kind of telling you about the issue at large. It's not really going into the things that the article is fully about yet. Empty word, says youth activist. I see a word that connects to my subtopic and my subtopic question. So this is probably a better place to get some details from. Let's see if there's other things that I could be recording here. 16-year-old Greta, you can read along with me in your head or skim with me. Okay. So it seems like she is basically calling out world leaders for not doing enough for climate change. So that feels pretty important. I'll go back and I'll, I'll add that. I'm also gonna put in a color so I can start to see the, the differences and the changes I'm making. Okay, already I feel a little bit better about this um, because it's connected and it's kind of making me also think about some more stuff. It's sparking some ideas for me. For instance, now that I'm looking at my notes, I'm thinking that it's kind of surprising that they're not doing anything when the temperatures are already rising. So I'm actually gonna take this detail and I'll move it down here. And instead of just writing detail, 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 I'll make some room for my thinking. Um, and I'll start to add what I'm understanding from this based off of the details I'm gathering and also what I'm trying to understand specifically about my subtopic. Okay, so not doing enough to protect, this is now making me think about how this is surprising because temperatures are already a couple of degrees hotter than pre-industrial times. I already feel a lot better about my notes. I'm actually gonna go through these and just see if I can even just delete them. Okay. Now, even though it's much shorter and it's also written as like a thought, I feel like these are much stronger. What do you think? My notes still have details, so they still have specific information from the article, but they relate to my subtopic and kind of help to start answering some of the questions, like the challenges they face. Well, it seems kind of like here, they're facing challenges because leaders aren't taking it seriously or them seriously. It sparks some thinking because now I have some ideas turning, like why is this bad or what else does this mean? You, you saw that I was able to make a connection between the, the pieces of information. That's a good sign too. It's sparking new thinking, it's adding on. And then finally, it's also new. I haven't written about this before in other slides. And also I took away stuff that just kept repeating itself so that I'm really just saying what matters. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like for you to try the same work for yourself. Use these three bold, bold tips as a self-assessment for your own jots and research notes. And then let that drive your rereading and your revising and your rethinking of your research. You might do what I just did, which is reread my notes, figure out what's working, what's not, and then reread the article and then rewrite my notes. You might do the same kind of process you saw me do. Or you might use this to take some new notes today as an example and some guidelines. What's important is that you're doing something that's either rereading a text, revising your thinking or revising your notes or reimagining, rethinking your, your subtopic overall. You're just doing something that's not totally new, but that's going to push your work forward nonetheless. So use the example that I provided, use the chart and apply this to your own research. I'm excited to see the changes you make and how much more 
meaningful your research becomes.